Okay, before we go on, let me just get a decent station on here. Uh, Natasha's new hit, My Dog Smaller Than Yours. Oh, I love that song. All right, everybody. Time to announce the grand prize of the Z92.6 Summer Smash. <laughs> Are you ready for this? The grand prize is an all-expenses-paid trip for four to... Willy Wombat World! Woohoo! All righty! Dang, I wish I signed up for that contest. Well, we've had over 18,000 entries, but there's only one winner. Open the envelope, Mojo. Okay, let's see here. Just open it up here and, uh, our grand prize winner is... Miranda Jackson! What? No way! Now, Miranda, I hope you're listening. Ah! That's my sister! That's my sister! Yep, we sure do, because to claim the prize, you need to call us back in the next five minutes. Otherwise, we gotta go back and draw a new winner. Uh, but, but Miranda's at school. There's no way she just heard that. I need to text her quick. Okay, I have to pull over here. Oh, my brain's all scrambled. Okay, I have to figure out the fastest way to tell Miranda what she needs to know. Quick, what should I write? What should I write? Uh, oh gosh, maybe... Out of 18,000 entries, you won the Z92 Grand Prize. A trip for four to Willy Wombat World, but you have to call in the next five minutes or they'll pick someone else. Or, oh gosh, I don't know, uh, what about... Uh, Z92 just announced their Grand Prize winner. Uh, or, how about you need to call Z92 right now to claim the Grand Prize? I don't know, what do you think? Z92 just announced their grand prize winner. Okay, sending it out. Oh man, I hope she gets this. Why didn't she tell me she was in this contest? Oh, she wrote back. Really? Who won? Wish it was me. Ugh, it is you, it is you. That message didn't give her the right information. We have to figure this out. My sister's going to be devastated if she loses that prize. Which of these will get the point across to Miranda? Yeah? You think? Okay, let me punch this in. Out of 18,000 entries, you won Z92 Grand Prize. Gosh, it's taking so long. A uh, trip for four to Willy Wombat World. No, it's time is up for Miranda Jackson. She didn't call in. Time to pick a new winner. Rats! Poor Miranda. That last message was just too long. I guess we were trying to tell her too much. We should have sent her this one. You need to call Z92 right now to claim the grand prize. It's a lot shorter, but it still gives her the main information she needs to know. Let's figure out where we went wrong. For example, when the DJ said this... So, tell me something. What is this article mostly about? We get most of our electricity today from burning oil, coal, and natural gas. Modern windmills can change wind into electricity. Wind farms are becoming popular as a clean and more affordable source of energy. Or California, Pennsylvania, Oregon, and Washington have wind farms. All right, the question is asking what the passage is mostly about. Now, the article does say where most of our energy comes from, but... This focuses on only one part of the passage. So, do you want to give the question another try, or would you like a hint first? A hint? No problem. Now, think about the whole passage. What was the author really trying to tell you? If you had to tell somebody what this passage was about in one sentence, which choice would you pick? See, the question is asking what the passage is mostly about. And there's a lot more to this article than changing wind into electricity. So, there is a better choice. This article makes a pretty strong point that wind farms are becoming popular as a clean and more affordable source of energy. Sure, the beginning of the article states that wind farms are popping up across the country because they produce a clean and more affordable form of energy. And then, right here at the end, it's repeated in another way. Wind, on the other hand, is a clean source of energy and is becoming less and less expensive to farm. It's not surprising, then, that wind farms are becoming more and more popular. Okay, see, if an article makes the same point twice, 
then you're probably dealing with the main idea. Ah, life on the old wind farm. <laughs> Honey, time to get up and milk the windmills. Brr.